Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today's video is actually brought to you by SuperheroStuff.com, the only place where you can find the largest selection of superheroes and supervillain t shirts, accessories, baseball caps, and a whole lot of stuff. They're actually promoting a 13% off of everything if you use the code of Goblin13. Once again, Goblin13 to get a 13% discount on any merchandise that you guys purchase I'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now and I was introduced by this company during the Comic Con and I love their material I mean I'm gonna constantly buy stuff from them um, I'm loving it uh, so hopefully during the next videos that you guys are gonna see me you're gonna see a lot of these shirts on me because I'm supporting them I love their shirts I love the design I'm a huge Marvel DC superhero so I'm actually going to leave all the description links and all that stuff so you guys could go check out. Go check out the website. Check it out. It's pretty good. So let's get started. So uh, today is a first boot. First boot of what, Bernardo? Uh, well, a first boot of Fedora 20. Yes, I not too long ago did a Fedora 19 to you guys. Uh, 19 was released, uh, I believe, a couple of months ago. And it looks like... Uh, FedoraProject.org have released, they haven't released it, but it's an alpha uh, stage of Fedora 20. Uh, I'm, again, I'm going to place these links at the bottom of the description so you guys could go check it out. But I actually downloaded the 86 and 64 bit install DVD, and it's about 5 gigs. Uh, it's up to you if you guys want to test out the 86 bit or the 64 bit, it's really up to you. Me in my testing environment, I normally test out the 86 bit. I don't know why. I always do. Uh, as always, I am using VM Workstation to test out my environment. I'm actually doing 9.0. I created a 1 gig of memory, 1 processor, 20 gigs of hard space. And I already mounted my Fedora 20 86 bit underscore 64 bit DVD. And let's do this first boot. Let's boot it up and see how it looks so excited awesome and as you can see it's giving me the option to install Fedora 20 alpha or test it out as always when I do these first boot with you guys I normally like to just install it why not so let's just uh, install Fedora 20 alpha and press enter key to begin the installation process pretty cool let me get out of this, close this. Now the operating system type that I'm using on my virtual machine, in case you guys are wondering, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna show you my options. Uh, I am using the version of Fedora 86 bit. Uh, sometimes that if you guys are not using the correct operating system type with your virtual machine, sometimes it won't boot correctly. Uh, so as you can see, beautiful gives me the nice little welcome screen to pick my language. English is the language, United States, even though I can't speak it properly, but hey, you know, no one's perfect. Uh, at the very top, it says uh, Fedora 20 Alpha installation, pre-release and testing. Keep that in mind, guys. This is only testing and it's pre-release. So don't use it as a production uh, machine. So I'm going to hit continue on this. And this is unstable pre-release software it basically tells you straight off it's not stable uh, it's pre-release software are you sure do you are you sure this is what you want yeah heck yeah let's see what's going on what's new in fedora uh 20 so yes i accept my fate uh what else what else what else the time let's set the time up let's go individual i am not in denver i am in new york there we go. Let's see if we can find New York. New York, where are you? There we go. And we're going to hit done. Keyboard, English, done. Language support, that's pretty good. Installation source, auto detect, okay. Uh, please complete the items mark with the icon before continuing to the next step. Oh, this one right here. Yep, I want to install it into this partition. This is the only partition that I have. 
again if you guys have multiple partitions add the disk but I only have one partition so we're gonna select this hit next and it's not doing it okay got the check done okay automatically configure my Fedora installation disk yes I'm gonna pick this one as the first one I'm not gonna do a, any logical volume mounting stuff or oh, I'm not gonna encrypt it as well so I'm just gonna hit uh, continue excellent and you get the begin installation dialog box it gets enabled so once you configure the section that's kinda requesting or requiring you to set up once that you get that stuff set up you can start beginning the installation and I got two warnings and the two warnings is you gotta create a root password so let's create a root password the only reason I, I kinda don't like this kinda setup with uh, setting up the fedora uh, I like the whole point that it gives you a screen saying okay uh, enter a root password uh, give a computer name you know that old style of the welcome and configuration installation uh, I don't like the fact that it uh, gives you these I don't know these windows that you have to click on it gives you like an explanation point and say hey you're missing this information uh, so let's give it a name uh, let's go BJ Tech News as the, f the name again you guys are probably giving it something else and let's give it a nice strong password well my password is not that strong but who, who cares uh, I normally uncheck this require a password to use this account actually yes I do I do want that uh, let's check out the advance to see what the advance is giving us uh, yeah leave that as is yep I, I don't have any specific groups so I don't have to deal with that so I save changes hit done Oh, actually make this make this user an administrator you want to be an admin on your fedora box and then hit done and right now it's configuring itself it's up to Ugh, can't even see because it's just going too fast. Uh, 200 to 1200 installation. So yeah. So hopefully once that's done, uh, we could uh, get into the virtual machine of Fedora 20 Alpha. Again, it's Alpha. It's pre-release. It's not a full-blown release for you guys to put this stuff in production. And let's see how it looks and feels. Woo! So that took a while. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've noticed a lot when I'm do I've been doing these first boots with these uh, Unix and uh, Linux operating systems uh, that the installation process the post installation the pre pro installation is takes a while so if you guys don't have patience hey just let it be go get a cup of coffee or get juice or do whatever you want to do and then come back uh, once everything is completed you're gonna get this nice little uh, for doors now successfully installed but you need to reboot so let's uh, click on the reboot uh, if you guys are installing this into a physical box make sure that you remove the CD out of the computer and I am going to pick the first option and see if it, it looks like it's booting up it looks like it's booting up awesome but uh, best practice is if you are using a physical machine take the CD out once you take the CD out, reboot the machine, you should be up and running. Because I'm using a virtual machine, it shouldn't matter at all. Uh, it is loading up. This is pretty cool. I like the little Fedora logo fills up and then it shines. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Windows, uh, I think Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8 boot. Hey, I'm not, I'm not comparing it. I'm just saying that the logo, the way that the logo kind of loads up and then shines once it's completed and it loads up so right now I'm just uh, waiting for it to boot up pretty awesome so far I love the fact that it gives me the time when I see this interface okay correct me correct me if I'm wrong guys when I see the inter interface doesn't this interface look like a tablet you know you got the time at the top you got your little buttons in the corner and then you just click on it I would really love to see this operating system on a tablet. It'd be pretty cool how it, how it would work. Now let's log in and see how it looks. It feels awesome. First boot with you guys. 
uh, Fedora 20, which is in alpha. Again, I'm a, I will place all the links at the bottom of the description so you guys can go check it out. I think uh, a couple of months ago, I did Fedora 19 with you. And I'm super excited about this, super excited about this. And it gives me a nice little welcome screen, which about, it looks like it's five steps that you have to do. So let's set it up together. So English, yes, next. Input source is English, yes, next. Uh, connect to an existing data in the cloud. Now, I'm not a heavy super user on Fedora, so I don't really have an online account. So I'm just gonna hit next on that. And because I don't have one, it skips right to that. And it wants me to start using GNOME 3. Look at that, wow, GNOME 3, we're gonna hit start using that. And there we go. One thing I noticed about this is that it automatically auto-filled the resolution. If you guys have been following a lot of my first book with the latest and uh, OS's, like I did Ubuntu, uh, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, uh, I had to change the resolution. But with Fedora, with my virtual machine, it automatically configured itself. Awesome. That means I didn't have to install any uh, VM tools. As you can see, it has a nice little welcome screen. This reminds me a lot of the Mac OS. When you first start your Mac, you get the nice little welcome screen. You get all those little different welcome uh, languages and welcome in Spanish, welcome in Korean, Japanese, and whatever type. And, and then it, it boots up to the desktop and you're able to you know use fedora so that's that kind of reminds me a little bit of the mac uh you got a nice little gnome help dialog box to get started with basic common tasks i'm just gonna close that for now uh but yeah i'm 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 loving it this is pretty awesome let's go to activities and within activities you get the nice little sidebar it looks a little familiar like on 19 from my understanding fedora 20 uh fixes a lot of the speed uh increases the speed actually uh, i don't know too much about fedora 20 for those have that have been using fedora 20 alpha have been testing out what are the new features what what's what's the hype about why is why 20 why not keep it on 19 19 is very stable from my understanding it works perfect when i was using it in the past but why all of a sudden 20? I know I know you have to upgrade your operating system, but you know, Fedora uh, project.org didn't release too much notes on it. Uh, let's go into the show applications. As always, it looks like Fedora it uh, is supporting and providing you an office suite. They're giving you Libra Office, which is great on the Unix platform. Uh, I think it's a little better than the Microsoft Office side. Uh, to be honest with you and let's go to the second page and uh, yeah what's uh, sun dry this is sun dry okay cool firewall screen reader okay some of the tools utilities so I'm pretty excited about 20 I gotta I gotta play around with it a little bit more to see what's the big hype about it why why the new release what are the new features and all that good stuff but if you guys are testing out Fedora 20 Alpha right now, let me know right in the bottom of the comment section. Let me know what you think. You know, is it, is it, you know, are the, are there new apps or it, does it run faster? Does it run faster on a certain processor? Let me know. Again, leave comments right below. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And uh, don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next first boot. Peace out.